Believe it or not, Michael Flynn's resignation is not the only national security issue happening in the United States right now. According to a report that the New York Times released on Monday, the Trump administration really has no time at all whatsoever to deal with any kind of national security briefings. In fact, according to that Times article, uh, staff on the National Security Council had been told that they need to keep reports to the president down to no more than one page and you need to fill them up with graphs and charts and, and maps because, you know, I guess the president doesn't really like to read. He likes to look at the pretty pictures. This is absolutely true, okay? Uh, New York Times said the Trump wants his national security briefings down to one page, fill them with charts and graphs and maps. Okay, now I know the Flynn issue is a big deal. You know, he, he, he screwed the United States, possibly gave away secrets we still don't know yet. But the fact that our current president doesn't want national security briefings to be longer than a page, maybe, you know, one, two paragraphs and throw a map on there. That's dangerous. You cannot get all of the information that you need to make an informed choice about national security issues in one page. I mean, hell, the New York Times article about this issue was three or four pages long. Why is an article about you not wanting long pages longer than the pages you get? This makes no sense. I mean, honest to God, at this point, we're just living in crazy land. Up is down, black is white, wrong is right. It, it's so hard to make sense of any of this. But Donald Trump has said in the past, and well, uh, and the uh, uh, National Security Advisors, military, uh, CIA have said in the past that Donald Trump doesn't want to be bothered with these daily briefings. Trump has said himself that he's a busy man, he's got a lot to do, he doesn't have time to do this every single day. So when you're cutting it down from every single day to maybe two, three times a week, limiting each one to one piece of paper, you're putting this country at risk. You're risking the lives of everyone in this country because you're too damn lazy to read. You know what? If that's the case, have somebody read it to you. You know what? They don't even have to read it to you. They could walk up to you and just explain what's happening. Make you a real short little post-it note with the main points that you need to know, but get the full story from somebody. We've seen what happens in this country when we have presidents that do not take the whole big picture into account, that choose to cherry pick data to start a war. And that's what we're looking at right now with Donald Trump. This man is a, a real threat to our national security because one, he has no idea what the hell he's doing. And two, he's too lazy to get a proper briefing on a daily basis. Now that should scare the hell out of everybody, especially the Republican party. You know, studies, psychological studies have shown us over the years that Republicans are more fearful than Democrats. Republicans consistently rate threats like uh, uh, Islamic terrorism as high priorities when they vote. So why in God's name would you vote for a man that puts your own security in jeopardy? Why would you still support a man who doesn't care about your irrational fears? Now don't get me wrong, he probably shouldn't care about their irrational fears, but there are very real threats to the United States. There are real threats that these people lay out every day in these briefings that Donald Trump is not reading. He'd rather look at a chart because you know, you can tell a lot about terrorist attacks from a chart or a map. I don't understand how geography is really going to help you on this issue. If somebody wants to shoot a bomb over to the United States, but I'm not the president. So maybe you know something I don't. But the bottom line is that Donald Trump is dangerously unprepared to be president of the United States. He is mentally incapable of serving this country in the way that a United States president is supposed to. And that puts us all in very real danger.